till the day. Hey everybody, welcome back. Heard of Northern Lion plays the Binding of Isaac Rebirth, Afterbirth, you know the deal. Uh, I gotta be real with you, I've been playing like shit lately. It's, uh, the daily challenge was the, the worst of it, but, uh, losing on that brains challenge I was not stoked about. I haven't heard anything about Pride Day. Um, looks like we got Rainbow Baby $3 bill. That's, it's a fun start. Probably no item rooms if I had to guess. I've heard that Onan Streak is hard, and I've heard that the Guardian is bullshit. So, we have, uh, after this one, oh my god, we have, like, 2020, or is that just our $3 bill effect for this room or something? Yeah, I guess it's just our effect for this room. Um... After this, we might have just absolute nonsense forever, so we should prepare ourselves for the fact that this might be the last semi-leisurely challenge that we have. Uh, I am prepared for that. This will be a good way to get ourselves out of the funk, maybe. And I'm not talking about no Bruno Mars. We gotta, you know, start playing better. Because it's not even the challenges, man. It's like, you know, beating the lost greed mode stuff is gonna be just a goddamn nightmare, so... I've really got to start nutting up, basically, which is a, a very rude way of saying playing a little bit better, playing with a little bit more care. Um, again, my guess is no, uh, no item rooms on this run, and that's absolutely a-okay. Starting with $3 bill and Rainbow Baby is probably a little bit better than your average starting item rooms anyway. Let's go see what our boss fight is like. I will explore just to make sure, but... Uh, that's what I'm thinking right now is probably going to be the way that she goes here. We got Proptosis for this room. I hate that it still plays the boss ending music. Gives me that, like, you know, serotonin release before the enemies are actually dead. Somehow we didn't get hit there. That's incredible. And 2020 temporarily is huge. Let's try to break the TNT. We have not broke. We have broken the TNT. And we have broken the TNT again. Bad for business. That's all right. We're not going to get hit here unless we make a colossal mistake in the final moments. We'll pick up a HP upgrade. Uh, well, not HP upgrade, but a tears upgrade with some HP associated with it. And uh, we'll take some opportunities here to check out what else we got going on. Probably we'll get that Tinted Rock for free, which is amazing. And inside of our Curse Room, we got another little bit of extra HP, which makes this worthwhile. Admittedly, I was going to walk over the... Uh, the spikes to open those chests, but I actually don't think that that's relevant anymore. We could maybe use bombs to push them out, but I think we should just chill out, basically. Uh, so far, this seems really good. We're going to Mom's Heart. That's an icon that I won't misinterpret, hopefully. Pretty confident that one's going to be Mom's Heart. Golden Bombs, eh? Became super Canadian temporarily. Uh, it's one of those things you would have liked to have known about maybe a little bit earlier on the floor, because I'm not really that invested in using, like, too many bombs to try to get other advantages, but we might as well pick up, you know, whatever money is available now. Uh, we'll definitely try for our other secret room, and we might as well get these, uh, these chests now that we can do so for free, unless we make a colossal mistake, and then it's actually opened up what appears to be a crawl space for us as well, where we'll be picking up Demon Baby. Not a bad haul, considering it's completely for free, when we were gonna be, uh, doing this anyway to get something else, so I will take it. Oh, it's Rainbow Worm that's causing the worm effects. I didn't even look at that, but uh, obviously that is it. Okay, let's get that. We got a bomb. Oh, no. There we go. We got a bomb and a penny for that one. And this one is like a colossal amount of money. Enough to make our first shop actually worthwhile. So we're still doing fine on time. I mean, we don't have to do a boss rush to beat this challenge or anything like that. So let's come back and we will uh, see what's going on in here. I think that that's okay. At the same time, I'm kind of like, well, let's take this too. The moon, sure. Leaves that on our next floor. Um, at the same time, I'm kind of like, maybe we should just keep the rainbow worm trinket because it's kind of in the spirit of the challenge. But, you know, if we can get a better trinket, that's fine. And I've very rarely used mom's box as an item, so... Ah, eh, it didn't. The phrasing there was not really where it should have been, and I apologize. Uh, let's uh, check for our secret room probably right here. Tapeworm is a good trinket, but it's not as cool as Rainbow Worm, so I'm going to ignore it for now. And we'll head down to our next floor feeling very, very good about the way that this looks. I left a spirit heart on the ground because I'm a bad dude who doesn't care about anything. So our burning basement will curse room moon card. We were extraordinarily fast there. I don't know what was happening. And moon card. That is a lot of money. Why are we so fast occasionally? I don't know what's causing that, and it's freaking me out a little bit. Maybe it's a rainbow worm effect, although I don't imagine it is. Come on, man. Looks like he farted himself to death. That's how Orson Welles died. Okay. Little horn. Just 
keep yourself as far away as is possible. This guy's been killing me a lot lately. He was one of the reasons we died on our last uh, brains run, if I remember correctly. So if I could just not give him the satisfaction, I would be much happier. We'll take our damage upgrade. We will probably take both. Yeah, I don't see why we wouldn't take both in this situ oh, situation. Goathead is great, and uh, Rotten Baby, also great. You thought maybe I was going to say good enough? No way. It is It is great. Oh, we can't, we can't replace our trinket, so Mom's Box is actually a useless item here. So we threw 15 cents down the drain. We have 30, so I'm not going to be too beaten up over it, but maybe I should be. Get a lot of trinkets on the ground anyway. Um, I guess we'll take the candle and probably the compass, and then we'll just go. I know there's a double key room, but what do we care? What do we care about going to the mini boss fight? You're not going to let me get trinkets? Then fuck you, game. We're going to speed through you. Uh, we will fight this mini boss though, because they're right there. Double of the worst part of Ultra Pride. That's uh, an annoying fight. And apparently he's immune to blue fire. In actuality, I probably missed, but felt like he was immune to it. All right, we can't pick it up anyway. How quickly they forget. Uh, if I could open that, I would, but I can't. I really feel like, um, at, at the risk of setting myself up for failure, this seems kind of unlosable right now. Like, the worst things that we can get with $3 bill... That looks really cool, by the way. The worst things we can get with $3 bill and, um... Well, specifically $3 bill are better than what we would have... Vanilla, most of the time. Maybe you could say different things about Hive... Or not Hive Mind, but Fire Mind. Um, but for the most part, $3 bill is like a, a flat upgrade versus what we could have otherwise had. Um... Rainbow Worm is a little different. Sometimes Rainbow Worm is going to be annoying. Yeah, okay, well, let's re-roll our whole run every single floor. It sounds like a good time. It sounds like I'm being sarcastic. I'm not. I'm, I'm so in. Already we got, like, non-stop technology and chocolate milk. What in the world was that? Can we talk about the bending of the laser here? Also, we're doing a... What is this? Okay, uh, do we actually have Death's Touch? I'm a little confused, but I'm I'm with it. I'm I'm in for it right now. We have strange attractor. What's bending these enemies? It might have just been fear shot looking a little funny. This one's freaking me out a little bit. I love it. We still got the three dollar bill effect. Just way more damage, but this is a little bit of a scary one. I keep looking to this Twitch chat for comments. There's not going to be any comments there. I'm doing this run for YouTube. Wow, no second secret room there. It's Mega Maw. You know what? Damage isn't so amazing that we can't benefit from a little uh, blue candle love. Easy run. No deal with the devil. I'll take Jesus Juice. It doesn't matter because when we head down to the next floor, it's all going to get re-rolled anyway. On the next floor. Uh, we got some tiny planet action here. Okay, yeah. Um, I mean, this, look, this looks weird. Let's just be real. Unlike the D100, we can't just get a battery charge and make our problems go away, so... Uh, this is a, it's a strange attractor tiny planet. That's not what you look for on a reroll usually, but the good news is we'll get it out on an easier floor and then it won't fuck us forever. Plus our damage, I think, is actually quite good. It's just the whole tiny planet-y aspect of it that's a little, a little annoying. But for the most part, I find tiny planet a fun item, so I'm not gonna sweat it too much. I'm happy we've had an opportunity. To use it on this run. And let's see what we've got going on in here. Spirit hearts. Not spirit hearts. So, it would be in our best interest to not take damage if possible moving forward. Uh, good looking as well right now. I'm trapped. Tiny planet, save me. Oh! Tiny planet! It's such a long walk! Tiny planet! I've got to hit both buttons. Or I can just bomb my way out. I gotta wait for, like, Loki Baby to, to sort us out here. Holy Christ, this room. That was the worst. I still feel like Missing No was the right choice just from a humor standpoint. I know I call this run unlosable. It's always, like, unlosable uh, caveat unless we re-roll our whole run. That, that's just, like, the... That sunders any and all expectations. In a good way, I think, for the most part, but... Certainly, I wouldn't claim that this is unlosable. We could always just re-roll into the worst, like, soy milk run of all time. Hopefully, that does not happen, though. Good. 
death, just stay far away. That's probably the most advantageous way for us to stay in the game here. If that's full health, I'd be thrilled. Probably won't be. I'm basically gambling on this guy to get HP. Oh, okay. He did give us HP, but basically I just wanted an HP container to survive to the end of the floor, but... Giving me the... The red heart is almost as good. It's not quite as good, but it's almost as good. I like the tier that makes enemies super small just because they look so high def. I think it's the like blue outline tier. Alright, in inside of our shop here. Um, sure, and probably a spirit heart as well to keep us going. Obviously, deal with the devil is kind of like a little bit lower on my priority list now just because it's not going to be plausible to get it. Taking a battery charge or battery baby just because the more items we have, the more items, you know, we could potentially roll into something incredible with the with missing no. So uh, if we do get a deal with the devil, I plan to go pretty hard on taking it as long as we could. That, again, did not necessarily come out right from a phrasing standpoint, but that's okay. It's gurglings. Put our shots in the air and then just fucking hide. I'm super happy that we have invincibility, by the way. May keep our meager deal with the devil hopes alive here as we... Uh, Get through this. We didn't get a deal with the devil, and that's okay. We'll head down to our next floor, waiting for the reroll of the century to save us here. Magnet, nails, this is our soy milk run, isn't it? Yes, it is. Soy milk, mysterious liquid. Yo, we're actually doing a lot of damage with this run. I know we have the tumor transformation, and that has a tendency to stick around. Um, not really loving our cricket's body range here, I'll tell you that much. Probably should use, uh, yeah. Yeah, use our actual item for that. You know what? No, self. I'm not going to give you the satisfaction of not picking up that penny. I can't believe that telepills worked out so nicely for us. Um, I do... Yeah, that's soy milk up in the top right of our items there. I mean, soy milk with an insulator is not bad. Our insulator here is obviously... Uh, is obviously our uh, blue candle because it means that... You know, it, it works irrespective of what our damage on our tiers is. So, I'm happy with that. Nails, they seem okay. Seems like like a slightly worse Death's Touch, maybe, but I haven't really had the chance to analyze them outside of, like, gimmicky runs. You know, especially D100 runs. It seems like the nail shows up uh, all the time. This guy's in the fucking car wash. Oh, we do have rubber cement, maybe. Our shots are bouncing off the wall. At least some of them are. I don't know fully what's causing every single interaction there, but... Life goes on. I can't really see what I'm doing. I do. It's like Splatoon, you know. We're just painting the ground here, uh, but it's getting the job done. And see the comments. Daddy plays Splatoon. I, uh, you know, I've played a little. Mostly, I've watched Kate play. I'm really bad at it, which is probably something that will not surprise you, but is the truth. I think because I don't care about deals with the devil as much as normal, we might as well check this out to start with. Yeah, man, we'll take cursed eye here. Shit on this run, but. Uh, We'll re-roll into a different item, although now that I think about it, I'm like, wait a minute, doesn't Cursed Eye stick with you after you curse yourself? It may or may not stick with us. Let's see if we can swing like Boss Rush or something with a teleport card. Well, if he doesn't want to pop up, that makes my life much easier. And the damage from what we're putting out here is not bad at all. It's exactly what I wanted to happen, except I wanted a teleport card to show up as well. Come on, come on. That actually worked. It took a long time. You know what I'm learning is that our damage is highly dependent on uh, what our actual tier effect is for any given room. So I'm going to the shop here just to see if we can get something to keep us, you know, going here. I don't know, maybe another spirit heart would be in order. Don't think we've taken red heart damage on this floor. Not that it's too relevant. Oh, we could also just fight greed if you're interested. Let's just look to this as like burning off a shitty tier effect so we can have an awesome one for our uh, our boss fight here, whoever it is. War. Oh, tiny war. At least we have Death's Touch as our, uh, as our $3 bill tier effect here. We got hit anyway. I swear he did four loops there. That's not the normal, you know, war strat. Beautiful damage. I still think we could have gotten through this without taking damage. I just bunged it up a little bit. And ball of bandages. Thanks for your uh, great service on that floor, but you're about to get re-rolled. 
Okay, we're on the mom fight. Uh, this is what I like to see. Admittedly, you know, tumor transformation makes lasers a little finicky because they shoot out from all different directions. But, um, you know, I'm, I'm assuming our damage here is not terrible. Actually, the, the angled laser can actually be pretty vicious here. Oh, that's ideal. I don't know what exactly is causing this. Usually there's like a Monstro's Lung kind of thing going on. But I think Mon uh, maybe Monstro's Lung actually does work like this with, uh, with the Technology 1. Shooting out in all different directions. Maybe like a Loki's Horn as well? I don't know. We, you can see some of the items we have there. Obviously like Sack Dagger, Little Brimstone, Mini Mush, etc, etc. It's okay. It's not a- I mean, I'd be happy sticking with it because it's novel. But from like a pure damage perspective, I would like to up our damage a little bit if possible, but... You know, it's it's not bad. It's not unwinnable for sure. Very, very slow rate of fire on this room, which probably means... A good $3 bill effect. Oh, I completely whiffed there. Okay. We're going to be very fast. Like, we're going to be fast enough to get to Boss Rush. The question is whether or not we want to do it. And as with most challenges, the answer is hell no. But if we can get in there and teleport out, then there's nothing wrong with that at all. On this floor, I think we'll just try to keep our Spirit Hearts alive. I think even though we'll lose the Cancer item, I think the Spirit Hearts stick with us. Don't quote me on that, but we'll probably find out pretty soon one way or the other. This is like our ideal pickup here, is the, the number one $3 bill effect. I think we'll just try to use Sack Dagger, and it mostly got the job done. There's options, again, we might as well take, because it's just going to leave us soon anyway. So, uh, you know, might as well take it and get an extra item out of it. I think, at least. That's my, my methodology here. And, uh... We also just got the Fool, so we can take something from Boss Rush, and then again, it'll leave us immediately, but, uh... That is A-OK. -okay. Maybe it'll be replaced with something even more useful. And Sack Dagger is going to allow us to kill Mom easily. I mean, like at this point, we're feeling pretty good. What makes this run not unlosable is the idea that we could just, uh, you know, uh, re-roll on the Mom's hard floor. Or even an earlier floor, but the one I'd be most worried about is the last floor because it's probably going to be the most difficult. Just re-roll into a run that's just super hot shit, which is uh, always possible. Again, why not, right? Take a little bit of this. Take a little bit of this. The guppy items, the, the persistency of them stays at least. I don't think we need any more spirit hearts right now, though. It's a little, little too risky for my blood. How to jump. An item I've never seen before. Magic mush. Speed upgrade. We gotta take the item we've never seen before, right? Number two. Oh, I've seen this. It's kind of bad. <laughs> Occasionally you poop. And you might poop, I think you, you poop butt bombs. But it's gonna get re-rolled anyway, which is why I was like, ah, magic mush, re-roll it, whatever. Who cares? See if we can get an Emperor card out of this. Oh my lord, we got a World card and a Chariot. Not a black market, but uh, the World card we'll definitely use on the next floor. I mean, we only have two floors left, we don't have to save too much for the future here. Two crawl spaces accidentally in one run is awesome as well. All right, let's take our world card. This was the right way to go. I'm excited to see. We've only got two more missing no rerolls left. I'm assuming that uh, as long as the last one is not terrible, we should be okay. I don't know about this one. Is there an Ipecac involved here, or is this exclusively um, shielded tears? Mysterious liquid? This doesn't seem that bad. That doesn't seem that good, but it doesn't seem that bad. We have Glitter Bombs, which will occasionally give us consumables. And of course, uh, the Glitch Baby. Which I still don't really understand, but that's okay. Oh, it looks like we have Cricket's Body. I don't think we can get Cricket's Body. Maybe we can get Cricket's Body from $3 Bill now that I think about it. The gods. Uh, we should use the World card. And we'll definitely use Degas as well. Um, let's work our way up here because we do want to go to our curse room. These glitter bombs could give us consumables. That one did not, though. Uh, probably don't need the money. But we are looking for guppy items if possible. Oh, we have a bum friend. I see. 
I see. Got an Awaz rune. It's a little bit of a weird one. I mean, I guess we could Awaz this floor and just immediately head down to the next one. But I kind of want to fight the boss. I don't see a great reason not to fight the boss on this one. Oh, Lord. Just stay far back. It's okay. They're more afraid of you than you are of them. Daddy Long Legs will finish the job, if nothing else. And I bet if we hustled on this one, we could have had a chance to beat Speed. Oh, I'm so scared of the fact that Speed is still alive in our game and coming to get us. Don't need the Red Hearts. This is our boss fight. Our damage kind of sucks. It's kind of like that technology one from a little earlier. Is like, if our if uh, our three dollar bill effect is good, we're good. If our three dollar bill effect sucks, we kind of suck. But three dollar bill changes more times per room now. I think so. Get into my tickle zone here. Phrasing, a uh, little blue candle shot and. No deal with the devil, but a golden heart like gives us money when we get hit. I think we just head down to the next floor. Probably use the Awaz rune and just see what happens. Maybe we can take it to the cathedral. It would be a little funny. Uh, we got the mom transformation, like anti-grav. Some other wacky stuff going on here. You know what? I've decided I don't like this transformation very much. We're going to go to Shoal. For no reason. We're going to go fight Satan instead. How does this run look? Well, now we have the actual mom's knife and tech point five. So this looks awesome. And I do not regret this decision one bit. And that's not like where people were like, yeah, you know, I fucked up pretty hard in my life, but no regrets. No, this one is like actual no regrets because our, our final part here looks way cooler than what we originally started with. Now, mom's knife and monstro's uh, lung do synergize now. It's going to make our charge time like disgustingly long, but we will have like multiple knives. That we can shoot out. It looks like it synergizes with Tech X as well. I love the occasional tear effects we're getting from uh, Rainbow Baby as well. And how they affect the, the look of Tech Point X. This is a really cool run. We're obviously going to win unless something catastrophic happens. And it was a fun one. It, not really like anything to do with the challenge. Except having Rainbow Worm and you know them not succumbing to my request to change it. But uh, we have Sad Bombs? We got some kind of... Just, maybe just Pyro, but... Um, this was a, this was a really fun run. I'm not afraid to say it, and you shouldn't be either. Not because of the challenge, but just because, you know, people like you. Thank you. No one like you. I go weak from the nights with you. Man, if we just spam the shots, they come out looking real funky. Where is our, uh, Tech Point X here? There we go. I guess we gotta charge it up a little bit more than I was. And I hope we find the Satan fight soon. These shots are looking real cool. Actually, Tech Point X is quickly becoming one of my favorite items for synergies in the game. It just looks so cool when it synergizes with stuff. Which is not always, but it's very often, actually. Um, let's try to put a bomb here. We're done with this challenge. We're not going to fuck it up so hard against Satan that we just completely eat shit here. So, good run, and we'll get on to the challenges that... Uh, People have said are like genuinely bullshit and actually incredibly frustrating. I'm kind of excited. You know, it's a new era. Figure out what these uh, what these ridiculous challenges actually look like. Well, every single mom's knife shot here is like half of Satan's HP, which is a little confusing for someone who's hit him like eight times here to still be in trouble. Um, wait for the feet. Great stuff, we're done. That was actually a surprisingly easy Satan fight, and that'll be the end of this challenge. Easy one. I don't know what we unlocked there. It looks like we unlocked the D8. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.